Our next destination is the capital, Ljubljana, a small metropolis with irresistible charm. The small city lies on the banks of the Ljubljanica, after which it was named. Due to its many bridges, the city is known as Little Venice. Its center is a pedestrian zone, an ideal for exploring on foot or by bike. The small capital has almost everything that its larger counterparts offer and also offers a rural charm. A good example is the vegetable garden in the middle of town. Anje Pershin is a farmer in the midst of the capital. He is the third generation in his family to grow vegetables here and also the very popular salad, Ledenka. The produce is sold at the town market not far away. 200 years ago, all garden owners were farmers. Today, Anjay's family is the last one to live off growing vegetables. Would I have become a farmer if I had to live in the country? I don't know. I'd have to try it. This is much more pleasant. If you live somewhere isolated, you have to make a lot of sacrifices. Not me. I practically live in the middle of town. Anjay takes his produce to the market on foot with a handcart just as his ancestors did a hundred years ago. The journey through the charming alleys of the old town is more enjoyable in better weather. Anjay's handcart is also his stall and an unmistakable trademark, which shows he is a farmer from Ljubljana with homegrown produce. <laughs> Local vegetables straight from the ground. Something people know how to value. Even Janis Bratovs, the best chef in Slovenia. He comes to the market every day and lets himself be inspired by the daily offerings to see what he can serve up for his guests. In his kitchen, Janis Bratovs combines earth, sea and cast. In the restaurant in the town centre, he serves up an original interpretation of traditional Slovenian cuisine. In my restaurant, I only work with Slovenian food. We still have good produce here, good fish, good meat and vegetables. I'm glad we haven't been globalized yet, like in the large cities of Berlin, Munich or London. There, everyone practically has the same food. Only homemade and regionally produced food finds its way into Janisch's kitchen. His dishes thrive on the natural aromas of his ingredients. The creative master chef creates true symphonies of taste. Janisch Bratovs has won international awards and his restaurant is listed as one of the top 100 in the world. I work here because my family is here and because I've made a name for myself. You never know, perhaps I'll go out into the world in the years to come.